keeping that in. <laughs> We're going to go run errands, and that's about all we have planned today. It's raining and gross and cold, and I hate it so much. And I have to do homework today. I've been doing it since 9 o'clock, and it's 12.49. I'm over it. I'm over it? Yes. How do you feel this fine morning, Mother? I'm feeling very well. She's sad. How to make Mommy happier. Get Cinnamon Bomb. Step 2. Also, get Pandora. Happy now? Hello! It's now actually Tuesday. I had every intention of introducing the vlog yesterday and then I got sucked into my schoolwork and completely forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging. So hi, hello, welcome to another reading vlog. What can I update you guys on? Last week kicked my butt. It was midterm week and I, <laughs> I had a midterm on Tuesday, I had work on Wednesday, I had a midterm on Thursday and a quiz on Thursday and a presentation on Thursday. And then Friday I was like dead to the world because of all the school shit that I had to do and then Saturday was Ricardo's birthday so I spent the day with him and then Sunday I had work again so I didn't really feel like there was a point of vlogging because it would literally have just been me studying and working so we're back at it again this week this week I only have a quiz on Thursday I figured we would get a lot more reading done which means I need to update you guys on what I'm reading since last week was so hectic I did not read at all so I'm still reading A Good Idea by Christina Morocco. I'm 195 pages into it. It's about the girl who moves away and then her and her best friend like say that they're gonna move in together when they go to college. Her friend ends up being killed by her boyfriend but then everybody's saying that the boyfriend's confession is actually coerced and he didn't actually do it. Kind of her trying to figure out what actually happened to her friend. I don't know how I feel about it honestly like it's good but I'm not like dying to pick it up so I'm kind of just like me you know like it's probably gonna be a three out of five stars the audiobook i'm listening to is so freaking good it's lair of dreams by libba bray i have been meaning to read this for like a thousand trillion bajillion years and i just haven't picked it up and then it was finally available on my library's overdrive so i was like i need to read it now i'm like 260 pages in so almost halfway it's a huge ass book it's like 600 pages so like mm. We're slowly but surely getting through it, but I'm absolutely loving it. It's just like a continuation of the Diviners, but like, highly recommend so far. The audiobooks for the Diviners series is just so good, so, you know, you should probably listen to it on audiobook if you want another way of reading the series. I have to go pack my lunch for school today. That's gonna suck. I hate school, but we're going. We're going to school and I am bitter. Mom's gonna come with me this week, no, though. No, I'm not, because my hair looks like this. Oh, it looks very nice. Yeah, that's that looks good. I like that. Thank you. That's good. Oh, that looks really good. <laughs> this lighting is like totally poop right now, but I just opened book mail and Macmillan sent me two books that I have been anticipating and I didn't even like ask for them. They just sent them to me and I'm like beyond excited. Thank you so much to Macmillan. I thought I would share them with you so you guys can see them before the unboxing video because honestly... <laughs> It ain't gonna go up until like next year. All my unboxing videos are like so late all the time. The first one is Last Girl Lied To by Ellie Flynn and I just think that this sounds so good. I've talked to the author on Twitter like multiple times and she is just like the sweetest. She's a fellow Canadian so you gotta support your Canadian authors. It follows some girl named Fiona whose best friend Trixie ends up dying and it's ruled as a suicide. Fiona doesn't think that that's the case and she thinks that Trixie is actually still alive and so she starts this little investigation of her own to try to figure out what actually happened to Trixie and that's when she meets Jasper who is Trixie's like friends with benefits and Bo who was the boy who rejected Trixie and as things like come to light she starts to realize that her best friend may not be who she thought she was so then it's kind of like her trying to come to terms with that. She starts to think that Trixie was just waiting for an opportunity to disappear and is kind of like that story but it sounds so good and I'm so excited about it and thank you so so much to Macmillan. And then the second one I'm like so excited about as well but it is Death Prefers Blondes by Caleb Roherg, Robrig. I can't say his last name. I'm just gonna read the tagline to you guys and that's like what instantly had me hooked because if you know me you'll know why but it says a rebel heiress must solve a family mystery with the help of jewel thieving drag queens. 
drag queens. Thank you so much to McMillan. I've said it a million times, but like I was not expecting this. So like, I'm so happy. It's now Wednesday and I just filmed my most anticipated releases video for October 2018. So that will probably be up on Wednesday. I'm gonna guess if I actually edit it on time because we know Jay, she never edits on time. I finished A Good Idea last night and I'm probably gonna give it a three out of five stars. Like it was good, but I didn't think it was anything like amazing in my opinion. Like I enjoyed it, but it's not gonna be anything like super memorable for me. The first half of it was like super boring. It wasn't like anything that made me wanna pick it up, but the second half definitely picked up and it became like super interesting and like super action packed. I'm gonna say three. And then I also did a little bit bit of listening last night while I like clean my room and stuff and I got to 332 pages of Lair of Dreams and oh my god it's so good like I can't really say anything about it without giving like the diviners away. It has one of my favorite tropes in it where it's like the haters pretend to be in love kind of thing and I'm just like here for it and also like Henry is such a little baby angel unicorn cinnamon roll and I just want to protect him at all costs and I'm just like loving it. Hopefully when I go to work tonight while I'm setting up one of the rooms I can listen to more of it. I'm more than halfway through now. I also started a new book last night because I finished the good idea book. I started Lying in Wait by Liz Nungit. I'm only like 40 pages in but so far it's really good. It's one of the books that my mom chose for the TBR. The reason was Dead Body got dug up and she thought it sounded cool and I'm actually like really liking it so far only 40 pages in and I was like instantly hooked from like the first sentence like literally the first sentence was my husband did not mean to kill Annie Doyle but the lying tramp deserved it like what excuse me but it's told in alternative perspectives between like four different characters which I love alternating perspectives, so I'm like super into it so far. So hopefully we read a little bit of that tonight as well, but we'll see. I got too excited and started eating before I updated what we were doing. So we're at Nika. Say hello with your mouth. Hello, it is Thursday. I hate life. How are you all doing today? That's good. I have to go to school today and I have a test. Why are you fake nice right now for what you I am always nice! Do you see this face? It's Babe. angry. I don't want to go to school. You go for me. I think we've had this discussion already. I think we no. have it every Tuesday and every Thursday. I, so. I have a test and then another uh, class and I'm going to be there till 11 and I am bitter and I hate everything you won't and be everyone. You'll be there till 11. You'll be there till 9. I won't be home until 11. You'll be home after 11. Maybe I'll get out early. But then I'll get nachos. Oh, is that what so, you're doing today? That's what I always do on okay. Thursday because okay. I hate life and that's my comfort food. All right, like <laughs> It's actually now Saturday. All my footage from yesterday got deleted off of my phone, so there's no footage for yesterday. Me and my mom went to the States to go shopping and it was super fun. We didn't really get that much stuff. Like, I got a dress and a pair of shorts and me and my mom got matching coats because we're just like super cute like that and then we got like the typical junk food that you can't get in Canada. That's usually why we go over there. The whole point of the trip was to get Elias and my cousin uh, her Christmas present which we found so that's good too. So that's what happened yesterday and then today is super exciting because I get to go see Thug and I am so excited. We're going to the 1255 show and it's 1119 right now so soon but I figured I would update you guys on what I am reading because you know reading vlog you should probably do that but I'm on 490 of Lair of Dreams and it's getting so freaking amazing. I always put off reading like super hyped books because I'm always terrified that I'll hate them but like this one I'm loving so much. I don't know if you guys can hear this but it's like crazy hail outside right now. My dad went on to do errands and he's like literally sitting in the driveway because it's hailing and I'm guessing he doesn't want to get out of the car. <laughs> Do you see him? You probably can't see inside the car, but he's like chilling in there because he doesn't want to get out. You can see all the hail on the roof and he's still stuck there. <laughs> go daddy, go! You can do it! He's not even running. That was uneventful. <coughs> Mom loved the movie so much she has to blow her nose. 
Oh, so many tears. Oh, so little time. Not... Did you like it though? I did. I thought it was really good. The uh, group of teenage girls oh behind us. Not even teenagers. No, they, they were like pretty, twelve. They were yeah. They were like twelve years old. The entire movie, oh, they're sobbing. Goodness, not sobbing. like not like one tear. You know, not quietly like, in not the like back. Conceal it, kind of. Oh, oh, no. it's okay. They're literally like. <gasps> <laughs> to a point where, like, we could not hear the movie. It to was the just them where, sobbing. Where we were laughing at it. We're going, okay, it's going to come again. <laughs> but, like, it was a really good movie. I enjoyed it. We'll see. <laughs> it's the best day of my life. So thin. Hello. Hey. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's the end of the reading vlog. Oh, Say great. goodbye. I had work all day today, and then now come home, and Mommy's doing my hair, and then... Ricardo's coming over for pulled pork dinner, and then I have to edit this. Which is not an exciting dinner, it's just... It's delicious. But I have to edit this, and I have to be at work again tomorrow morning at 7.30, so I need to edit it now, which means that it needs to be the end. Does that have to go up tomorrow? Yeah. Ah. I have to edit this tonight so that it can go up in the morning. How much more do you have to edit, though? Just Saturday and Sunday. What are you doing? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> So therefore, <laughs> therefore, we end vlog now. Say good night. Good night. We love you. We love you. We will not be back until next next week because next week I have lots of work time. Next next week, if you start again, guess what that is? You're going for surgery. No. Reading week. No. What? Day is next next Monday. <gasps> My birthday! Oh yeah! I forgot. <laughs> Okay, bye.